welcome to the screencast where i will be showing you how to deploy a production ready and a highly available openshift cluster in the amazon ec2 environment now before we start off with the deployment let me just quickly show you an architecture diagram which should give you a brief on how the openshift cluster deployment would look like in your uh, amazon ec2 environment it's almost the same as the on-premise version of it the only difference will be we won't be deploying the load balancers in the ec2 We'll have uh, two nodes running your OpenShift brokers, which will be responsible for taking requests from your clients and uh, giving it on to your uh, OpenShift nodes for creating the cartridges or applications, etc. You should be able to create n number of OpenShift nodes by the playbooks supported. The brokers will be using MQ for its internal communication and uh, MongoDB clusters for uh, storing the configurations so we'll be having three nodes which will be running mongodb and mq so that in case any one of your nodes fail there will be no service disruption we'll be also deploying a dns node which will be responsible for giving out the dns names and the ip addresses of the newly created uh, applications now let's start with the deployment as a prerequisite you will require a node which has ansible installed on it you will also need to Download the OpenShift uh, playbook repo from GitHub, which has all the playbooks for uh, deploying your uh, OpenShift uh, cluster. Now, once you have done that, you can change your directory to the to the repo that you just downloaded. And the first thing that you will have to do is edit a file called as uh, group wars slash all, and uh, provide your appropriate credentials in it. For example, provide your access key provide your ec2 secret key in this particular file fill it up with appropriate data uh, fill your key pair and uh, this count is the number of uh, open shift nodes that you will be deploying so fill up all this information in this file and you should be able to deploy your open shift cluster after this now before i start with the deployment let me also quickly show you my ec2 console so this is my ec2 console as you can see i am i just have one instance running now as of now and uh, let me just start the installation to start the deployment issue the following command ansible dash playbook minus i ec2 host ec2 dot yaml which is your uh, playbook which has all the tasks and uh, a unique identifier so you say minus e id equal to open shift um, say v1 so this is a unique identifier for your current deployment uh, it's not important that you should be it should be like open shift you can give it any name it just identifies your entire deployment now press enter and uh, that should start your deployment it takes around uh, 15 to 20 minutes to get your uh, OpenShift environment up. Once you see a summary of all the tasks that has been executed by Ansible, it means that your uh, deployment is completed. The entire OpenShift has been deployed. Now, once that is done, probably what we can do is that uh, we can go back and check um, how the deployment went and we can uh, try to deploy some applications and see if everything is fine or not. Now, for that, let's get back to the management console the ec2 management console and uh, let me just refresh the page so that i can see if all the new instances were created or not okay so i just refreshed my page and uh, you should be able to see around uh, eight of new instances being created now if you want to know which instances are having which roles you can just click on any one of your uh, instances go to the tag section and uh, you should be able to see something like a type so this machine or this instance is running your mq and your mongodb server so you should have three of them so let's check okay this is my first this is my second and uh, this is our, my third machine which is running the the mq and the mongodb servers um, this machine is running the node so let's figure out the machines which are running our brokers and let's try to connect to them and uh, create some applications so this is one of my broker and uh, this is my second broker so let me just connect to the first broker copy the address i open up a new tab and i say 
is gtps colon slash slash the machines uh, whose name it warns me of the security i say proceed anyway and uh, I'm, I'm i'm connecting to the management console of openshift and uh, by default it, it needs an authentication the default user name to access the management console is demo and the password is uh, pass me so provide those credentials and say login and uh, you should be able to see uh, the home page of the management console it might take a few seconds but uh, it should come up okay so this is the management console and uh, as you can see it's saying it's asking me to create your first application now so let me do that let me just create an application now so let me choose the python 2.6 so i'll be creating a python 2.6 uh, application so let me give an application name i say py app one and since this is the first time i'm creating an application i need to specify a namespace so let me give it as uh, ansible and i say create application So meantime while it is creating let me just go back to the console and uh, let me take the other broker node also so that i can make sure that both the nodes both the broker nodes are working and i can create applications through them i think yeah this is my second broker node so let me just also connect to this before that let's go back here and see okay so my first application has been created your application has been created and uh, you can access the application via this URL. Okay, let me take one more console and uh, let me access the second uh, broker. So I give the URL, I press enter. The same thing, I'll say proceed. The same username and password, I say demo and I say pass me. So it should actually uh, show me the application that has been created by when I created an application here it should show me that here let's see and we'll also try to create a new application via this broker also so as you can see it's also it's already listing me the application that I had created py app one now let me create one more application so that I can make sure that I can create my applications via both the broker nodes so let me try to create a python 2.6 application and uh, this time let me name it as uh, py app 2 okay and then i say create application okay this might take a few seconds so let's just wait for that Okay, so my second application also has been created. As you can see, this is the URL to access my second application. So now I can create applications via both my broker nodes. Now let us do something. Let's test the HA part of it. So let's try to shut down uh, a MongoDB uh, and an MQ, a machine which is running a MongoDB and an MQ service. So let's take any one of those machines. Okay, this is running an MQ, which means it is running MQ plus the Mongo. So let me just log into this and uh, shut down those services and then we'll again try to create those applications so that we test that the HA part is working fine. So for that let me go back to my console and I SSH to this node okay and I stop the services so I say slash etc init.d mongod stop and uh, i also shut down my mq services so i say etc init.d uh, i think it's active mq yeah stop so i'll be i have stopped uh, a mongo service and as well as an mq service 
Now let's go back and uh, try to create a new application. So I can choose any one of those broker nodes. Uh, now let me go back to my applications and I say add application and I say a Python 2.6 application and they say the application name as uh, py app3 and I say create application let's give it some seconds Okay, so as you can see, uh, our third application is also created. So we have one of our Mongo database and an MQ service down. Still, um, we, we, are, we are able to create those uh, applications um, via the broker. Yeah, so uh, hope you enjoyed the screencast. And uh, if you are deploying OpenShift, we highly encourage you to um, have a look at Ansible and its playbooks and uh, hope it helps you out. Thank you.